hello friends um let's dive right in today we are going to discuss the difference between iso 27001 2013 standard and the 2022 standard now on my left is the iso 27001 2013 standard and on my right is the iso 27001 2022 standard now these are actual manuals that people or, or organization purchases right now i have it open in front of us so that we can see the actual differences in the manual now i know there are many people who have given their opinions on their on the differences between these two standards which is good but i mean in this video we will cover something that it's not already covered i believe and he, here we will cover the differences between these two manuals as per the manuals that issued by the iso standard right so oh, everything is facts and figures here now let's move on right so, uh, you know, just to reiterate, on my left is the ISO 27001-2013 standard, and on my right is the 2022 standard, right? So moving on, right, let's move to contents, right? What's the difference in the contents, right? As you can see, the section four, section one, two, three, four remains the same, right? There's absolutely no difference. Section five remains the same as well, leadership. Section six, that's planning, has some more addition, right? Now, what are those addition? As you can see, section six has three subsections added, 6.1.1, 6.1.2, and 6.1.3, right? And these are the action to address risks and opportunities, right? So, you know, a new section, subsection has been added to talk about information security risk assessment, and the other one is to talk about information security risk treatment, right? Six and seven support remains absolutely the same app except section 7.5 in which we have three subsections added 7.5.1 to 7.5.3 now in the documented information as you can see in 2013 standard there was no requirements or discussion about how you need to create the documents and update them how would you need to control the documented information but these are the new addition as you can see in the 2022 standard in section 8 of, 20, of both the standard remains absolutely same, no difference at all. However, in section nine, as you can see, we have some addition, 9.3 and 9.2, right? So in, in section nine performance evaluation, we have two more section, 9.2.1, 9.2.2, and in section 9.3, we have three more addition, 9.3.1 to 9.3.3. Now, what are those addition? In the internal audit section of 9.2, we have added two more subsections talking about general, uh, you know, internal audit and talking about general internal audit program, right, which was not covered in ISO 27001-2013 standard, right? Now we have three more subsections added for management review, where we talk about general management review, what are the inputs of those management reviews and those results, management review results, right? Now. Of course, uh, we, we can go into detail, but uh, you know, I, I would like to try to keep this video short. However, if you want to reach out to me to discuss this more in detail, I will leave, you know, please drop a comment and I'll get back to you, right? Now, the most important controls, right? Annex A controls, that's the most important part. Now let's see what changes have been made there. So here is on my left, I'm going to open the Annex A controls of 2013 standard. And on the right, I'm going to open the NXA controls of 2022 standard, right? Now, what's the difference? The difference is clearly visible. Section 5 is highly elaborated. As you can see, there are only two controls of A.5, right? A.5.1.1 and A.5.1.2. As you can see on, on my right, on 2022 standard, we have 11. Oh, God. 20, oh, so many standard. Oh, wow. So we have 37 controls in 2022 standard as compared to only two only one uh, controls of uh, 2013 standard right so that's a big difference of you know um, you know one control having two sub controls and here there are no sub controls there are just 37 controls altogether as you can see right now so the, the, the two controls of Annex A5 of 2013 standard talks about, you know, the information security policy and how do you review them. However, we go into very much detail in 2022 standard. We discuss about policies, 
the roles and responsibilities, the segregation of duties, management responsibilities, how do you contact with authorities, you know, contact with special interest group, threat intelligence, a very brand new section, which was not in 2013 standard, my friends. Have a look at this, section 5.7, right? Information relating to information security threats shall be collected and analyzed to produce threat intelligence. Great, amazing. Now, how, now this section was already there, information security and project management, inventory, you know, uh, collecting the inventory, acceptable use of information and return of assets. Moving on, how do you classify label information? Okay, we have removed the section where we talk about how do you handle information. Okay, that's a new update. How do you do information transfer, access control, identity management, authentication information, access rights, how How's your, infosec how's your infosec controls and supplier relationship? Addressing infosec with suppliers, managing infosec with ICT supply chain, monitoring and reviewing the change of supplier services, infosec in cloud services, incident management, and um, you know how do you assess and decide information security events? How do you respond to it? How do you learn from incidents? How do you collect evidence? Okay, what's information security during disruption? ICT readiness for BCP. Legal, statutory, regulatory, and contractor requirement, intellectual property rights. How do you protect records? How do you protect PII? How do you review InfoSec? How do you comply with policies? And how do you document them? So very, very detailed section, my friends. Now moving on, section six. Section six is again, as you can see, the layout has totally changed. Earlier there used to be A.6 and then A.6.1 control and then there were sub controls. In this section we have just section six, six and that too the name is different, people controls and there are um, eight controls of them. There are no, no sub controls like 6.1.1 in 2022 standard, right? As you can see here. Now, as you can see on your screen, there are just five controls of section six and here there are eight controls right and uh, the, the section six is totally different screening terms and condition of employment infosec awareness disciplinary process confidentiality and nda responsibility after termination remote working infosec event reporting however they are they have absolutely nothing to do with the earlier section six right so as you can see they have also changed out the sections all together right moving and as you can see in 2013 standard there used there was a a.6.2 and then sub controls relating to that but there's nothing like that here there is just straightforward six and then 6.128 right okay now moving on to section seven section seven in 2013 standard about human resources security here it is physical controls right as you can see in 2013 standard, there was only three control, uh, three controls which had sub controls, of course. But here, um, you know, the, first of all, the section seven is totally different. It's about physical security controls, and it has wow, whopping 14 controls, right? Now, to save us time, I'm not going to read them all. But again, you can read it on your own time, you know. But it basically talks about physical security controls, right? Moving on to section eight. In, sec in 2013 standard, section eight was about asset management. What is it about here? In 2022 standard, it's about technological controls, right? Endpoint devices, this is a brand new control, previous access, right? Well, not brand new, but okay, some correction. And access to source code, okay, this was there previously. So yeah, as you can see, section eight has totally changed and it again has a whopping 34 controls. Wow, that's amazing, isn't it? As you can see here, friends, um, you know, in section A, uh, in 2013 standard, we just had uh, three controls and them, and all of them had sub-controls, as you can see in 2013 standard. However, in 2022 standard, there are straight away 34 controls. Now, due to the scope of time, I'm not going to read them all, but I believe you can take screenshots or pause the video and read these controls. Right, and that's it, guys. That's all the controls there is in 2013 standard. It went on and on. It went to a.9, a.10, a.11, a.12, 13, 14, all the way 
till 18. So the number of controls according to me has reduced significantly, right? I mean, let's count the number of pages. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All the controls are over in eight pages, almost, you know, I, I, it's close to seven pages, but in 2013 standard, let's say how many pages it is there. Wow. Okay, start one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So, as you can see, on 2013 standard, we had almost 13 pages of, uh, you know, controls, and in, on in 2022 standard, the uh, the controls has been integrated to re uh, remove duplication, and it has only eight pages, right? So. And again, we, we don't want to get into details, but yes, guys, if you have any questions, just reach, feel free to drop a comment and I'll be getting back to you. But as you can see, this is the difference. This is the detailed difference between 2013 standard and 2022 standard. Thank you for watching.